Here's a demonstration of how to use the Rene to create a simple melodic sequence with the system Cartesian. We'll start by monitoring the channel 1 output of the Mondimix. Patch the variable wave from the STO to the channel 1 input and the output to ROSI to monitor. The Mondimix controls the amplitude of the signal coming through it using the CV input. As we turn it up, we can hear the variable wave coming through. We can control the frequency of the STO with the gray knob. The Rene sequencer is specially designed to send traditional musical note values in the form of control voltage from its quantized CV output. The STO's 1 volt per octave input is designed to accept these values and translate them into notes. Let's patch the QCV to the 1 volt per octave input. On the Rene, each touch plate corresponds to a knob and each knob corresponds to a note. As we turn up the knob, we hear the pitch rising in semitones. The Q page lets us choose which notes will and won't be selected, basically allowing us to create a custom scale. The touch plates are labeled with the notes associated. So for example, to quantize to a major scale, we disable all the black key notes and leave only C, D, E, F, G, A, B. These note values are relative, so whatever frequency you tune the oscillator to before applying the CV will be interpreted as C. The frequency knob shifts all the values up and down equally. In other words, it is an offset. Rene can be played manually via touch plate, but can also step through the locations sequentially via its clock inputs. End of cycle gate from maths to the Y clock input, and it sequences vertically or the X clock input horizontally. However, with the X clock input, we can also engage snake mode on the X fun or Y fun page, and it will use a single clock input to step through all 16 locations. So now we have a 16 step sequence, and we can set note values via the knobs. We can also momentarily lock the sequence to whatever locations we are touching. down a couple touch plates and press program 2 and it will latch. One thing we haven't accomplished yet is getting this series of tones to sound like individual notes with beginnings and endings. The key to that is in the mod mix. We have already tried controlling the volume of the oscillator by adjusting its panel control, but we need to have it turn up and down consistently with each new note. To that end, let's take the unity output of the same maths channel we're using for our clock and patch it to the CV input. This will turn the channel up and back down again for each step of the sequence. We can use the rise, fall, and response controls to change the length and shape of this envelope. And since it is also the leading clock, the sequence will stay in time with its cycling. The Rene is open-ended, so there are many ways to add variety to this sequence. For right now, we'll just show the access page. This lets you turn individual locations on and off. So for example, we could turn this 16-step sequence into an 8- or 12-step sequence on the fly. If we go to the XFUN page and enable sleep mode, the sequence will not change locations until it finds one that it's allowed to access. In practice, this means the sequence will always be 16 steps, even if fewer locations are enabled. Thank you.